already had some big moments in your brief NBA career, but uh, maybe your first signature moment in front of the home fans was that pull-up three that you hit. Can you take us through that moment and what it was like, not only then, but then to be able to pull away and uh, come uh, be, away victorious? Before that, you know, I want to thank the fans, man. Uh, what a great fans we have, you know. Tonight was fantastic, you know. The, the fans were really good. Uh, to, going back to that question, you know, uh, I saw the shot clock going down, and I uh, had a good matchup, and then, you know, uh, switch it up and, and felt good about it. You know, I, I let it fly, and it went in. It's pretty clear that you have the green lights from your coach and your teammates, and that's pretty atypical for a rookie. What does it mean to you to be able to play your game the way you want to and not have to um, defer maybe as much as a typical rookie would? I mean... Uh, it's good. I mean, you know, I feel like I earned that, you know, working hard on and off the court, listening to my teammates, my coaches. So it feels great. Uh, that's something that anybody would love to do that, you know, go just go out there and, and be able to do that. But I'm just going out there and, and be Chris Duarte, you know, just play my game. That's, that's, how, that's, that's what I do. You know, you just go out there and play your game. Malcolm was just telling us how he was talking to you at one point about, you know, if your shot's not falling, try to get into the lane and make plays. What does it mean to you to get advice like that from your older teammates, and how much has that helped you so far in your short NBA career? It, mean, it means a lot. You know, I'm always talking to Malcolm and, and, and everybody in my team, especially Malcolm, you know. Uh, I asked him earlier, you know, about the game last night. Uh, I missed a couple shots, and, and I told him, like, what do you do when you're missing shots like that? Like, what's your mentality? What's going through your mind? And he told me, hey, you got it. When your shots not falling, get to the line, you know. Get to the paint, you know. Make a play for your teammates. Get a steal. Play defense. And, and that's how you get going again. The and then you go back to your, to your jump shot and just keep playing. So, you know, I really appreciate uh, my teammates, especially Malcolm, who is always talking to me. That goes a long way, you know. He's been in the league for a couple of years, you know. He's a vet, a good leader. So it's good to, to learn from those guys. Chris, what has it been like for you going from college where you're playing twice a week maybe? You just played three games in four days, three different cities. What has that experience been like? Uh, I like it. Uh, I like it. Uh, I like playing basketball. So it's being able to play back-to-back -back game. It's kind of tough, you know. Uh, for a guy that that never been there before, so but I like it. I'm having fun. As a shooter, is it a challenge for you to have to get used to all the new sight lines, all these venues that you really haven't played in? Is that something you've had to do maybe during shoot arounds or anything? What? Learn the new sight lines at all the different venues, like where the crowd is, where the basket is, what it looks like to shoot in each arena. Does that make sense? No, that don't make sense to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Bueno, mi primera victoria en la NBA se siente eh, bien. A mí me gusta ganar. Eh, un sentimiento diferente. Eh, se nota la energía en, en el locker room cuando uno vuelve para atrás y, y se juntan todos. Todo el mundo feliz, todo el mundo contento, con una sonrisa en la cara. Eh, simplemente estoy jugando mi juego allá afuera, Leonardo. Eh, como le he dicho anteriormente, Eh, gracias a Dios, gracias a mi equipo y, y a mis compañeros, a los coaches que me dan la, la oportunidad de hacer lo que hago. Alan, go ahead. Hola, Chris, es Alan Silva de Costa Rica para Pedro Basket. Bueno, ¿cómo sientes que estás adaptado al equipo y en qué aspectos aún no te has adaptado también? ¿Y qué sientes, por qué sientes que mejoraste en defensa en este juego? Bueno, uh, Cosas que tengo que seguir adaptándome es la, la rapidez del juego. Eh, cuando tiro, estoy tirando fuera balance un poquito. Eh, no sé si, si lo ha notado en los juegos que ha visto. 
pero esas son cosas que, que poco a poco vendrán pero me estoy sintiendo bien eh, me gusta eso que me estoy sintiendo bien jugando cada día que pasa me estoy sintiendo bien jugando con mis compañeros y, y nada Thank you. Good. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, guys.